top ten. It's got to be exciting for you. Yeah, I mean, we haven't been there in a while, so we've talked about it a lot. I know the guys will be excited. Um, me and Matt feel like we have two more spots to go for this year's goal, at least, so we can be a top eight seed. That's the goal for us. So we have, it gets harder and harder once you get up there. You know, the, the, all the teams are good, but yeah, it's, it's fun. Take us back to that uh, big win in Florida and kind of walk us through that. And, uh, I don't know if that's an upset. They're both highly ranked, but it's at yeah. their place. I mean, I guess because it was at their place, a lot of people, you know, feel like it's a tough one to win. But uh, as far as the teams go, we felt like we should have beaten them the last two years. Uh, a lot of teams, we feel like that. But um, we actually felt good going in there. I think everybody on our team thought we were going to win and uh, could have easily been 5-2 instead of 4-3. We had match points to go 5-2. So, But... Um, you know, they do well there. I didn't know that their record was as good as it was against good teams. Yeah. I mean, they had three and four match points against Georgia there a week earlier or two. So, oh, I felt really good. I was more worried about Sunday's match than, than Friday's match. Really? Yeah. He was, he was your old coach, right? He was my coach here, yeah. How was that like? um, You know, it's been, uh, it's been crazy the last couple of years coaching against him. Uh, it's almost, uh, you know, we're very close. Obviously off the court, but when we we get on the court, it, it gets really heated. And um, this time, it was there was nothing going on. There was just the guys battling it out, and that was really good. You know, um, coaches, tennis coaches, kind of just you know they can get out of control sometimes, <laughs> myself included. But uh, no, it was it was really fun. He was super nice after the match. He said we played too good for him, and mm. but it'd been a while since we'd beaten him. Do you have any conversations with Marcus? Have you recently, like leading up to the matches? Uh, yeah, I mean, it's such a close camaraderie there. The coaches, we're always dealing with each other, and uh, I knew he was um, worried about this match because he kn he knows we have a good team, and I know uh, Foley doesn't like to lose to Mississippi State, so that you know, it's a good one, good one. I thought. Uh, with all these guys that you've had coming back this year, do you feel like you can can you tell that the, have they taken strides from last year? Is this a better team basically than last year? Well, last year we lost the doubles, one, two, and six against every top ten team. I mean, it was every, every time. It was, it was no secret what we needed to improve on. And this year, uh, Artem at one, he's undefeated in the SEC. I think he's only lost one or two matches all year. Uh, so he closed that hole. And then at two, uh, we, we still have some work to do there, but we're winning more than, than we did. Uh, and doubles, uh, I don't know what to tell you there. We're, we feel like we're not in – well, I shouldn't say that – a couple of weeks ago, we didn't feel like we were very good in doubles, and then we looked at our record, and we were beating everybody in doubles. And so I think our confidence has gone up. Um, either we've gotten a lot better, or the doubles isn't as strong this year. I hope we've gotten a lot better. But so that that's helped a lot. So yeah, we're definitely better. Um, from the, but I knew we were. We didn't lose anyone, and it was just a matter of building on it.